What's going on guys? Look, uh, today as uh, agenda, I've got to go to the dealer and I've got to get, uh, I've got to get a new idler for that because the one that's on it always wants to throw the belt, no matter if the deck's up, down, half throttle, full throttle, it don't matter. It wants to suck the so it throws the belt and then it sucks it under the dead gum pulley. So uh, today I'm going to the dealership because I'm going to get a uh, newer style fuel filter for this. I'm going to check some things and uh, try to figure out what's going on with this because it, it it spits and sputters when it's hot outside. Okay, listen guys, there's, there's no platform switch. Uh, it's not the switch. It's not a switch because to me, if it was a switch, it wouldn't do it uh, only when it's hot outside so anyway i'm going to uh, buy some fuel or some yeah some hoses uh and change some vacuum hoses i'm gonna change get the grommets for the top of the tank and then i've got to get this uh idler that's 159 dollars and change it out we're going to change it out to the upgraded one hopefully that helps our problem and while i'm there i got to get a uh more blade for this toro as well so uh anyway um i guess let's get this video started and uh yeah so i'm going to like i said I, i'm going to go to the dealership get that stuff and uh we got a surprise uh we got a giveaway coming up and so yeah what else is there uh my mowers are completely filthy i have uh scraped the decks and everything on them so that's good and the blades are changed out on everything, including this one, but I definitely need to get a new blade for it. Uh, I will give you all an update on this thing since I've been using it for a while now. And uh, yeah, so anyway, let's roll and uh, then I'll get back. I got some things I got to take care of and then I'll probably uh, show you putting this pulley on tonight. I, I don't exactly know, but anyway, uh, let's get going. All right, guys, almost had this idler pulley on. Uh, was torquing it. It says torque uh, 32 to 40 foot pounds. I had my torque set to 38 and uh, all of them were good. Was tightening this one right here. And uh, yeah, look at that. So there's $160 completely gone. So I'm hoping the dealer, huh? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, because I torqued it to what they said to torque it to, and that's what happened. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated on this, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so back from the dealer, and what they did was, well, they replaced it, and, uh, well, I haven't been charged yet anyway, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll see Monday for sure if I'm going to have to pay for this, uh, or not, but I used a torque wrench. Two of the bolts or two of the nuts on the bottom were torqued. Uh, I was torquing the third one and yeah, uh, it broke off like that. So I was like, okay, well, I don't feel like this is my fault because I took the proper procedures to torque it the way it said. Uh, and I read up and you know, it was supposed to have been torqued 32 to 40 foot pounds. I was torquing it at 38. And like I said, two of them torqued just fine. That third one though, just broke the dead gum bolt and everything. So uh, anyway, um, so the dealer has told me, uh, well, yesterday when I went, they said nothing about it. Today, when I went, they said, oh, make sure you drill that extra hole. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So if you see, there's a hole right here where my finger is, it's already small and drilled out there. And uh, so supposedly whenever your uh, idler pulley starts getting loose or the spring, you know, over time. So what they do is they drill that extra hole and then they just move it. Well, I guess instead of just installing the new one and going for it, well, they want you to just go ahead and drill the hole and get it over with and put as much tension on it as you can. I don't know. Uh, so... I did some reading on the forums. They said, uh, or you know, I, I posted in the Toro X Mark page, and they told me, you know, hey, it's not necessarily unless it keeps throwing the belt, then they would recommend doing it. 
So I'm like, okay, well, if that's the case, I might as well just drill the hole and put it in now uh, and not worry about it. Because if it throws a belt, again, after installing this new one, then A, I'm gonna be very upset, but B, uh, I'm gonna have to undo the thing, drill the hole, move it. So I'm, I'm just think I'm gonna do it now and get it done and over with. So uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. All right, got my safety glasses on. And uh, yeah, so I guess let's drill this hole and yeah, see what goes from there. So. <clears throat> I will tell you, these dead gum drill bits, these shock waves, are absolutely freaking phenomenal. Did you see how quick that went through? That is crazy to me. But anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna clean this up. Let's vacuum these shavings up. And uh, well, this is the best little thing ever, this little shock vac from Milwaukee. <clears throat> so I upgraded to the new one here. This is the pack out one uh, And yeah, it's got two speeds works great uh, For everything I need it to anyway, and so I love this thing. I bought this and uh, Yeah, definitely recommend it. So anyway, let's suck all this old shavings up and move on And then when I'm done, I just lock the hose back in place and ta-da So yeah if you don't want to use as much power, you just press down for speed one. And if you need to power, well, you use speed two. And yeah, definitely worth the upgrade from the uh, from the second gen, in my opinion. So anyway, back to this thing. All right, so with the new one here, um, one guy told me he's like, just, you know, install the pulley on there and then, you know, just put it all down there in one instead of waiting till it's done and putting the pulley on. So you need for this uh, a 14 millimeter. It's gonna take care of you. So I'll get a 14 millimeter socket. And a 14 millimeter wrench. And it says torque these to uh, the same thing, 32 to 40 foot pounds. And so uh, what I do with that is I have this handy dandy thing here. And so I can take this and put it on here like so. Then, actually I don't know, yeah. So what I'll do is, is I'll take this with my hander dander half inch wrench and my 14 millimeter socket and put this on here, put this on here, turn this on and we are set to, I believe it should be 38, which is the same thing from last night. So if you press that, yep, we're at 38. Not sure if you can see that or not. But uh, yeah, it should be flashing there. And so I will set this to, we'll go to 36, just to be on the safe side. That's the middle ground uh, anyway. And so, yeah. <clears throat> so now we've got this here and then I will take my wrench here. And they gave me a new bolt because they said that this bolt <clears throat> had to be longer than the other one but my thing is is i i don't know because the old bolt right here <clears throat> they're i mean barely any difference but they said by the time you fit that in and on that pulley uh i still think this one would have fit but we're just going to use the the newer style here anyway and get it done and over with so uh yeah put that in there put our pulley on and then I checked the bearings in this and the bearings are fine. So no worries there. <clears throat> then I will put this on here like so. And I will take my hander dander 
tool here and we will torque this thing to the recommended 32 to 40 foot pounds which we're going to do 36 uh, on this so hold that there actually probably be easier if I did it with this end right here yep okay <clears throat> so let's torque it and now you'll hear this uh, whenever it starts getting torqued it'll tell you what it torque it's at so right now we're only at 10 pounds of torque on this and uh, yeah so there's 11 12 14 15 17 Jeez, 26, 24.3 is what we're at now. I mean, this is ins yeah, insane right here to have to go through and do this. But it works, I guess so. <clears throat> okay. We're right at it. I mean, it's like 35.8. Which is fine, because it spins all pretty. <clears throat> no issues there with that. So uh, now, we'll put these on. I got new uh, nuts for it, because of course, well, the last time I tried this, one broke off, so. All right, so this one also has a grease fitting. So another thing I was told, if you, well, you can't see in there, but anyway, another thing I was told was make sure I grease the living fire out of this thing. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, even in the, the manual or whatever for doing this, it says to grease it. So we're going to grease it. And uh, <clears throat> it is coming out the top there already. So... Wipe all this excess off because I don't want any of this crap getting on the belt and then having another issue. All right, guys, so I was going to put it in this second hole, like you know, uh, I said I was going to do, but if I do that, then that's what I get right there. It sticks on top of this, and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to tighten it down and put it in the original hole because. Well, that's where it fits without hitting the spindle there. All right, so I have my three bolts here. I've took the blade off of here. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna start these and then, yeah. So it's supposed to be what, uh, 20, or I'm sorry, 32 to 40 foot pounds of torque is what it says for specification wise. So I'm gonna start all these and then, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it barely moves, goes anywhere, I don't know. Uh, so, anyway, <clears throat> put these on, get these started. Now, we can take this right here and put it on there. And like I said, just to show you here, we are set for, boop, 34 pounds. God, I hope y'all can see that. Pretty sure you can. So, Anyway, uh, let's take this off, put this on, put this on, and we should be good to go. So let's uh, move it around here to where we can. <clears throat> so we are 25, 30, 32, that was right at our 35 mark right there <clears throat> all right this one same thing here <clears throat> gotta be able to see i mean i can see it but so we're at 27 30 31 33 30 3.4 <clears throat> right at it there <clears throat> so maybe I should just put this on 33 because it seems like 34 
is going to do the same thing that I did last time. I feel like that's just gonna strip it. I'm not sure. What are we at here? We're at 33. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna do what it did last time if I keep going. So I'm just gonna do this to 33. Because it does say 32 to, uh, it does say 32 to 40. I don't know who would put 40 on this because I think it would literally uh, not work if you did <clears throat> do it that way. But what do I know? All right. Anyway, put this back on here. Come on. All right. I don't know why I did that. There we go. All right, here we go. Oh, let's get to this 30 on this one. 25, 26.1 is what we're at right now. Uh, let me move around here. All right, 26.1, 28, 30. There we go. There's our 33. <clears throat> Check these right here. That one's good. And then last but least. And we're at 28. See, this is 32.4. It's not going any higher. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, it might have moved two <clears throat> things that whole time, but if I keep doing it, I feel it's going to uh, strip out or break like it did the last time, and I'm not trying to go through that crap again. <clears throat> All right, let's put our blade back on here yeah that's the last thing I'm trying to go through is <clears throat> all that crap because that's exactly what I did last time but I to tried torquing them to the 36 uh, and yeah well, let me tell you that 36 is what broke the last one I was messing with. But I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not trying to go through that. So I'm not gonna deal with it. <laughs> All right, let's put this blade back on here. I'm just going to grab the pulley up here because that'll be fine. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, of course. Ugga dugga. Easily ugga dugga. All right. There you have it. That is put on. We didn't break it this time because I lowered the torque of it. Hallelujah to that. All right. Let's put this down, take the jack stand out. All right, so let's get this belt put back on because, well, when you've done this as many times as I have because uh, the belt keeps slipping, then, so once again, what's happening is uh, I'll engage the PTO. It don't matter, I, I've did it at low RPMs, high RPMs. It don't matter how I do it. It uh, falls down and it somehow or another goes under this pulley I don't know how it does it, but anyway, it's a total pain to get back off uh, or to get the belt out um, because once it does that, well, you know, it, it don't just slide back through here like it should because now it's completely over here. So anyway, uh, let's put this belt on here and then we will show you the rest of this stuff because I think, hopefully, this is going to fix my issue here. So there's that. And then you come over here to this, 
And then we come to this. Like I said, this is so easy for me anymore. All right here, and this comes back over here like that. All right, then here's the fun part, okay? <clears throat> the fun part is, I, I gotta get down here. Oh, the fun part is this right here, because I've got to get this right here around this, right here, the clutch under there. Boom, I think I got it. Yep, sure do. All right, now, usually I pull this one right here off because it's easier. Here we go, new idler pulley installed, new belt on, and uh, yeah, make sure that that's on right. That's on right. And ta-da. So, let's, uh, yeah, lift this up now. And you don't know how glad I am that this is done. Peace.